We're doing a major project with Berlin-based artist Katharina Grossa along a five-mile stretch of the Amtrak rail corridor. And it will be episodic, and it will appear in seven passages of color. We'll see some industrial buildings, some of them intact, some of them decaying. And then there are some areas the paint will actually come down on the rubble and on the weeds, and there are even some trees that it will cover. Her work is very abstract. I'm Katarina Grosser, and I'm from Berlin, and I'm a painter. My painting is a strange thing to happen to a situation. It's like a stranger coming into the door and maybe not really behaving in uh, line with the given rules. It's very much about the amazing ability of a painted image that can appear everywhere. I think it's not a narrative. And in my sense it's more about maybe the contrast and maybe the paradox of things that don't normally exist together, and but you put them together in a way that all of a sudden you see them in one situation, and that's a paradox feeling, which is a weird feeling. You can't really say what it is. You can't say that you don't like it or that you like it. It's more about an astonishing encounter of that kind of painting with the surface. I wanted the colors to be really sticking out, like have a very artificial relationship to wherever they would appear. Like green, for example, you would think that green is a color of nature, or of leaves, or something growing. But then the green I chose is very artificial. It's like a color that you would not normally find in nature so easily. And also, all the colors are kind of underpainted with white. So the color is kind of pushed away from the surface by the white, like kind of pushed right into your face, because it gives light to the color. From here, with that color, you can't miss it, coming down the street, going to going Glenwood. And I think the people over there um, really should take notice. It's drawing attention to a lot of people, mm -hmm. people with potentials or people who have ideas of what they could do with it, or just local people and say, well, you know, something is going to happen. So I think the, the change Give us a little hope for the good. future, though. There is some hope, yeah. yes. The rail corridor that cuts across um, the grid of North Philadelphia draws your eye. It's a part of the urban experience of Philadelphia that is vexing. It, it has this you know, conflicting qualities of drawing our attention and, and denying our attention. We, we're, we're drawn to it, but we don't want to look at it because it, it doesn't look nice. It doesn't look like uh, inviting. Um, and uh, the parts of the city like that, that, that draw conflict, uh, I think are not only more interesting, but they're also more important to work out the potentials of those to improve people's social well-being, quality of life, and preservation in the city. As a community-based public art program, how do we not think about what people see when they leave and enter Philadelphia? And what do people think about Philadelphia when they come through here? It says something about our city. And so I think everybody feels like, well, this is a great city. We love Philadelphia. Look at how alive and vibrant it is. On the other hand, when I'm on the train and you go by and you see this landscape that is, it's ghostly. It has sort of this, you know, a quality of being sort of otherworldly. And so for us, we thought, here's an opportunity to do something about this major artery, a major artery that has been neglected, an artery that also represents Philadelphia's past and how does this both shine a light on our past and make us think about the future? For me, it was like, we have to do this. 